All right, so first I want to start by saying Kalalal Yahawa Bashem Yahashai Bashem Rakakodash. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of James Great Mustone and to you, I came out there pushing this truth in sincerity to open the lake. Shalom. This is a brother Kanan from James, Jamaica. You're another lesson. And today I want to talk about the art topic in Jamaica at this point. And this topic is basically around the cold pasta um, and its passing. And I mean, if you're not in the know as yet, basically there was on Monday, I think it was the 17th of October, uh, there was an inc inc um, incident where, you know, some ritual was basically taking place. Someone that got their throat slashed, or I think multiple persons that got their, um, would have been killed in the, in, the, in the ritual. And the police was called, they came and, you know, arrested uh, some of the people. But... The whole action of what took place from then coming up to where you now the pastor would have died in a spooky um, car accident. And I mean, the entire Jamaica is now looking on and seeing that something is not right. You know what I mean? Because they've seen pictures and um, images out there suggesting that this pastor was well known. He was seen in pictures with uh, Portia Simpson Miller. Um, you can name some top people in Jamaica that would have been associated with this person. So he wasn't a simple person, uh, so to speak. But the thing is, there are a lot of things being revealed, you know what I mean, about this person, which is also highlighting that these uh, individuals that are in, in, involved in high society are demonic and they are basically evil. You know what I mean? We know this because... We understand the scriptures, but when they tell people these things, apart from the fact that they know that Jamaica is one of the most corrupt nation in the world, you know what I mean? They don't think that these men are involved in some high level of witchcraft. You know what I mean? And that's what we are here to do in this lesson is to basically point out these things. Alright? So, it is now coming to the forefront. You know and I mean, again, the pastor would have died in a spooky um, car accident where, according to what is being um pushing the media basically not within the media basically what is being said by by people that are watching you know what i mean is that the government decided to take out this man because they don't want him to get a court case because if him go um understand to testify that the people dirty underwear will be, will be revealed so obviously they had to take him out and that's what people are saying for majority of jamaica you just obviously that you just add up said so that happen right now, all of a sudden, they might try to bring out things where the, pu the, the public been a long time. That this man was a, was, a homo, um, was, a, was a homosexual. So, I'm going to read the article and I'm going to get some scriptures and I'm going to point out to you how our government and country is corrupt and why you should not trust and listen to these leaders because they are only leading you into a, into a path of death. Now this is from the um, the Jamaica Star, or I said the Star, right? And it says headline: Cult pastor was convicted for sexual assault of a man in Canada. And this was pub um, was published on October 26. Today is 27, which was yesterday. So you realize these things are now coming out to the forefront, all right? And this man organize a church. I have a church where we have multiple um, children. Our young adults were in a tutor in a in an organization, and and I was watching a um was watching um a, a broadcast on TVJ where this person, one of the person or one of the the, the, the person was basically involved in that organization, coming out and speaking out against that that pastor, and I'm like this dude, this dude son gay, like things happen to him, but him not talk straight up, him not talk things, but him not come clean. Right now, here you have it where they are currently saying that this man was, was charged or uh, convicted, you know what I mean, for sexual assault on a man. And people have this man to be the man of, a man of God and him type himself as most excellency. So how is it that the population was not advised that look here man, this pastor cannot be a man of God because he's in a, in a, in a, in a gay activities. And how is it that these hierarchies, these leaders of Jamaica did not know that this man 
had this type of a, a conviction thing name. And again, how is it that this man would have been um, in, uh, given the order for person's throat to be slashed in a ritual or whatever, and yet still he was not. All the videos that are coming out from the police station are coming out. He was not uncuffed or treated like a criminal. He was not treated like a person under high suspect or anything like that. He was always calm and relaxed. Now, if you, if you treat a, a regular so called criminal as nobody, you know what I mean? If you get locked up for your jaw weed or a split tail or whatever it is, you're being treated as you're as the most uh, criminalist person you can think of out there. But yet, still, this man would have so much power to basically speak, to tell people to commit murder, but yet, still, treated like him, him innocent or like him a friend or something like that. You know what I mean? It showed that him have links with some hierarchy people in the world, which you see the pictures of them showing that. Alright, now I'm not going to go into the article um, much further with that, but I'm going to bring up some scriptures and to just show you that you cannot trust these leaders, yo. And the first scripture that I'm going to bring out is this one. Alright? This is um, Luke 16 and verse, verse 15. Right? And it's, it starts like this. It says, One moment. I must get the look for you. Ah, right, so this is Luke 16 and verse 15. It says, And he said unto them, You are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men. It's abomination in sight of God. Why? Because one, we are living in a corrupt country, a corrupt world, where the leaders of the world are, which is Soka White Man is the head of the, of the world right now, and they are wicked. They are the ones who are basically putting out this energy out there, this witchcraft energy out there all across the world. This homophobic message they push to your TV, to your, to your, your um, to your, 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 your children, um, um, children programs that they watch. If you don't pay attention to these programs, you realize you know, realize that they must see a lot of subliminal messages directing them to be gays and, and, um, and lesbians. Now you wonder why so much people today are gays and lesbians and you, you feel like it just magically happened. No, these are programming, you know, that's why your TV is called a television program. You're, you're being programmed by what you're seeing on TV, okay? Or any social media at all, you know what I mean? And again, Kevin Smith... I just see uh, um, Kevin Smith when in the in the ritual ceremony when they keep behind him was what a rainbow flag um, with the curtains. They mean use the curtain to make a rainbow flag. The man never there hide same him gay. How is it that people think that this gay person, which the Bible speak against homosexual, by uh, any form of sexual, where, where from in the street the, the most I speak against that yo. You know what I mean? But you're still the LGBT and the other alphabet people them. You know what I mean? Would have support a person like this and, to, and people would have support him as a man of God. To show you how blind people are when it comes to knowing the truth, yo. They are all for their bellies because this man have a little change and people can get a little, you know, benefits or pastor might help you do this. People forget everything but the Bible. They may follow you for money and for, for food, yo, not for the truth. You know? So let me read it again. It says, Luke 16 and verse 15. It says, And he said unto them, You are they which justify yourself before men. Right, because you find all the excuses for, 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 for make yourself seem righteous among men. You know, if you talk to Andrew, he say, Imagia, all excuse. Okay, whatever, 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 just to prove himself to be just, I'm um, just. But these men are wicked in the mind. And they have carried out wicked acts. No coincidence about that, yo. Remember um, Bruce Golden? Bruce Golden in a, in a Tivoli incursion, or the, the state of emergency Tivoli key um, had. Persons have died under that, under that, um, that, that, that um, order. All uh, because them on a fun, the, these men fun dance, and the big party JLP party, where the the, the, the shower party would have associated themselves with and work for, the leader of that party is trying to tell you that 
Even never know the dust. And I can't recall. The man come on TV, come blatant live before the country. Which should be, um, then should I charge him for that, yo. And the other party laugh because our big marker, our big joke, them take people for idiot, yo. So these men come and justify themselves in front of you, but their, their hearts are wicked. Right, let me continue. It says, um, but God knoweth your heart. So what? The inner, the inner man, the, the true you, the things that you think, God know what you are think. Because real and truly, he put these things inside of you. So he know exactly what you know. You know what I mean? I know that you're, you're an evil person. Right? And that you are an abomination in his sight. In, in his sight. Right, let me move to the next scripture. This is um, Jeremiah 5 and verse 25. Right? Um, it says here. Let me start from 25. Jeremiah 5, 25. It says, For among my people, 25, Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. Why we are suffering as a people? Because one, we've, uh, we've broken the laws of the, of the Heavenly Father. You know what I mean? All the, other, all the laws of the Most High tell us we're supposed to keep. Our people don't even know the laws, yo. Many people think that there are only 10 laws because that's what they've been fed um, coming up, going to Sunday's church or whatever um, church sermon they would, have, they would have went, thinking that the church would have been bringing them the truth from a long time. But they only know 10 laws. And there's no country that carries off a 10 law. The Bible doesn't give you 10 laws. There's 10 main headings. But there are other laws out there to teach you how to live amongst your people and how to be to keep yourself clean. You know what I mean? But our people don't know these laws, yo. Let me continue. It says, uh, Because you have break, broken these laws, good things are holding from you. We are sickly. We are um, under uh, mental is issues. You know what I mean? A mo mo lot of people are going mad today. Many chaos are take place. You know what I mean? But why? Because we have broken the laws and the Heavenly Father. We are not turning back to them. So you are still being punished day in day out. Let me continue. Verse 26. It says, For among my people are found wicked men. This is the next thing again to. Among the nation of Israel, which are you Negroes and Latinos, Native Americans, predominantly you people are the true sons of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, the sons and daughters of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. You are the true people. You are, the, you, are the, you are not like regular men. Right? But because you are doing regular men shit, and forgive my French, but there's no thing as a bad word in the Lord of Heavenly Father. But because you are doing wrongs, you know what I mean? This is why you are dying like regular men. This is why you are suffering like regular men. This is why you are going through things that regular people go through. Right? Let me continue. It says, for among my people are found wicked men. And the leaders of our people have some real, real wicked men, yo. It says, they lay wait as he that set it a snares. They set a trap and they catch men. So they man have set traps, yo. No, there, there are reports out there that um, the, the, the human trafficking um, is increasing since the pandemic. Why? Because there are a lot of people out there that are vulnerable, you know what I mean, and are seeking help. Help from who? They're not going to, to a poor person to seek help. They're not going to somebody who have money who can help them, who they think can help them. So not, not for these men that you're seeing high um, status or with high um, um, est est esteemed uh, highly among men, these same people are being accused of human trafficking. Even all of us get accused by the for human trafficking, yo. Is it so? Why is he being called on it? But the, the fact is, these people are high people, yo. People in high society, they are being called out for human trafficking because of, of them people that have the links, of them control the, 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 the wharf, them control the, the, the airspace. Them can basically, well, them can control um, the waters. Them can them control porting, you know. Them have the links to get people in and out of the country without, suspicious, without suspicion to it, you know. Because them have pay off people. But yet still, people see people um, go missing and think, oh, some regular simple niggas are doing it, you know. Simple niggas not even know if you can strike a good battle with the police for an hour. Them have a gun, them fire two shot, shot done, them run, drop the gun, gone. That's how most um, criminals are operate. 
it takes a high level of organization to get certain things done, especially in our next country. Oh. Because it's one, it's one thing for pass Jamaica borders, but the next thing for pass our next border, like America borders, the next thing for pass the border of Canada. But because these men link with top um, pedophiles, top um, homosexuals across different regions, them have them little chain and them rings where them go, them go through, them can get things done easily, yo. And that's why I say among our people are found wicked men. How is it this man was a, homo, was a homosexual and these men, these so-called God-fearing really, um, leaders of Jamaica will love to talk about the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. How is it that they did not know that this man was convicted for, 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 um, for sex for assault in, against a man? Sexual assault against a man in Canada. How is it that they, they did not know this? And how is it that after this man get brought to the forefront is when them just again are gonna know about it? It cannot be. Them have to know about it long time. And if they know about it long time, how is it them come here and can easily set up a, a church organization and function and make money? How is it? It just plain and straight said these men are just wicked and them not try to curve nothing. And them are the reason why you have crime the way it is today. They are the reason why you have things that operate the way to operate today because of them are construct certain things in the, in the country. Uh, yes, you have a look aside um, flares that get created, but the bigger picture is them because you know why? Who bring the gun to Jamaica? Them. Who bring the, 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 the drugs them to Jamaica? Them. The first time guns came to Jamaica was through, the, was through Siaga, Edward Siaga and the CIA. Them fund them and send them to Jamaica. And then they have the PMP, they have to um, travel to Cuba, go look, um, help, forget other guns and come back. Same PMP party and said JLP party, bring guns in Jamaica. Now you have crime out of, out of, the, out of control and people are dead rapidly. Alright, let's move to the next scripture. And this is um this is Romans 1 and verse. This is Romans 1 and verse 20. I'm gonna start from 20, 20, 20, 20 22. It says, professing themselves to be wise, they become they became fools. This man, Kevin Smith, the cult leader, you know what I mean, the, 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 the homosexual, you know what I mean, professed himself to be a wise person, as a leader, and have the truth to give people, but he became a fool, right? And he said what? And, they ch and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like unto corruptible man, unto birds, unto four-foot beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the loss of their own heart. So, you, 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 because you have an evil heart, the Most High gave you up to, these, to, to your own loss. You know what I mean? So, you, you, a lot, lot of people become lesbians and, and gays are, are, are the, next, the, next, the next one. The, the, the sticks them. All them become that. You know what I mean? Because, one... Some of them niggas here yeah, look for man some wrong way from long time. Them are lost for man some wrong way from long time. And some of them girls are doing the same thing. They might look for other girls and are lost. Oh, that girl is bottom big. Oh, that girl is breast. Or, yeah, 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 lost off our next girl or our next our man lost off our next man, yo. So you, you start from within your mind first. And then you get the lead over to, to, the, to the nastiness, yo. You start from within you first before it, the action come. The thought have to come before the action come. Right? Let me continue. It says, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the loss of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Right? It says, Who change the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, it says, God gave them up to, to, unto vile affection so a man having affection for a next man is a vile affection, it's nastiness. A female having affection for a next female is nastiness. Right? For even their own, sorry, for even their women 
they change the natural use into that which is against nature. What is the natural use of a woman? To be with a man. But you now you have women dating women, you know what I mean, and thinking it's something good. Right? Let me continue. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their loss one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was mean. Right? So, let's jump to the, the whole conclusion of this. Right? Verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which were not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, and whispers. Now, gay, gay people are... So messed up in the mind they are one they are um they are um dysfunctional in the mind basically. You know what I mean? You ever see almost every gay individual at the same way. One of them come out of the out of the closet, they're at the same way. You know what I mean? And if you look upon the 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 cause society give them the leeway for the things freely. But if you see these people in action, you realize that these people are are for most part criminals. There are most parts of them, apart from the ISIS, well, the ISIS ones are criminal also. You know what I mean? They are criminals from the lower standpoint and from the higher standpoint. It always plays that way. It always plays that way, yo. There's no wonder why this so called pastor who is a gay, again, would have taken part in an activity like this. Because in Val in the head, in, in, in mental ill, people have. A lost toward the next man and your man, you, you have mental issues. If you are female, you think they said you have mental issues. So you're, you're liable to do anything because that is not natural. It's like you see somebody out try to walk on them head. You know, you know, you know make for walk on your head, you make for walk on your foot or your feet. So if somebody see you move and walk on your head, somebody must think say you something wrong with you because you're not doing the natural thing. A man to man is not natural. Because you cannot create life through that. Female to female is not natural. Right? So you are mentally ill. Let me continue. It says, being, um, let's just jump to, to, to the last part. Verse 32. And says, Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. The Bible says, They which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So the Bible also says what? If you are enticed and you have pleasure in seeing a man, a, a bigger next man, or a female, a player the next female, then you are also worthy of death. If you support it and say that, okay, all right, them do them thing, me, no, me never have a problem with it, it's okay, make them live them life, you are also worthy of death in the sight of God and I mean you have to look at the scriptures according to how God look at it because God is not a man that he must say okay because you feel that way you going to change him God don't change God is a stern God if him say you're this wrong then it's wrong because he must know why it's wrong it's like the comp you are on computer get we get created if you do a certain job and you're going to tell God say you and I said if the if job to get done or if you know more than one person created for the purpose. Right? So, with that, I'm not going to make it longer than this. You know what I mean? Yes, the death is spooky. Yes, we all know that based on how things are operate, something in a something. You know what I mean? And time will reveal all things because the most I expose and reveal everything slowly but surely. You know what I mean? So that I want to say again, Kala Lal Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash, which is to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Again, the Anastasia Apostles of GMS Great Stone, until I came out there doing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.